Hello everyone, my name is Zara Trooper and welcome back to a, another video. Today I'm showing you guys how to boost your performance on 5M or with your 5M server on a low-end PC. Now it's really straightforward and easy. I know some of you guys might have got a PC, hopped into 5M and realized you're getting texture loss, you're getting lag, etc. I'm going to go through a couple of steps where we optimize your game itself. And if you own a 5M server, I'm going to show you guys how to optimize your 5M server. But you can skip that bit. If you don't, it applies either way. So... First thing we're going to do, we're going to do the 5M server bit. So if you guys don't have a 5M server and you're playing someone else's 5M server, just skip this bit. But for a 5M server, the main thing you guys are going to want to do is make sure you have optimized assets. So for example, when you load a 5M server, if it gives you tons and tons of warnings about asset file sizes, not necessarily every single time is that something bad, but it will not help. And also another thing which people forget is to clear your server cache, not your client sided cache in 5M. You also have server cache so to do that open your 5m server on up go into server data and open the cache folder and open the files folder and you'll see tons and tons and tons of folders in here which are pretty much almost every single one of the scripts that you've had installed on your server cached and you'll notice the file size of this folder is usually pretty big you can see for example for me and i've not even had the server that long or even play on it that much it's already almost 10 gigabytes, 6.62 gigabytes. So we're going to clear this, make our server run nice and smoothly, delete this. This also usually fixes quite a few script issues too. If you've got some cache left over, we're going to clear this. And that should help our server run smoother. Another thing worth noting is mods. If you guys have tons and tons of map mods, especially if they're really random Y map ones, which just plonk themselves on top of a map, I wouldn't necessarily recommend having these on a server where you have tons of players. That's going to cause tons of texture loss and any other players in your server that have low-end PCs are going to struggle to play the server. And you'd be surprised the majority of people have low-end PCs rather than super NASA PCs. But now what we're going to do is we're going to move on to some steps that you can do from your own side if you guys don't own a 5M server or if you do and you need to optimize your 5M server on your own side too. I'm going to walk through a couple of steps to do that. But first things first, we're going to clear our 5M client cache, very similar to what we just did for our server. We're going to go to search. We're going to search for 5M. We're going to right click, open file location. It's going to take us to a shortcut location on our file explorer. We're going to right click again. And again, we're going to do the same thing. Open file location. From here, we're going to go into 5M application data. And then we're going to go on in to data. And inside of here, we have three folders. We have cache, we have server cache and server cache priv. We're going to delete all of these. If you guys don't do this very often, you need to do it maybe once a month. We're going to delete these folders, clear our server-sided cache from your own side and just find them cache in general. If you haven't done this in ages, this will also be absolutely massive and is going to cause tons and tons of texture loss. But now we've done that one, that one's a really big step in fixing issues on low-end PCs. We're now going to hop in game. I'm going to work through a couple of settings that I recommend turning down or turning off to get better performance. And once you're in 5M in any server, it doesn't particularly matter. What you guys are going to do is edit a couple settings. So we're going to press pause. We're going to go into our 5M game settings. We're going to go, first of all, into advanced graphics. You literally don't need any of this. We're just going to turn this off. Obviously, we're going to keep the resolution to the right size. We're not going to upscale or downscale. Keep it to the one size of your monitor definitely don't upscale and now what we're going to do is we're going to make sure these are off so we're going to do long shadows off we're going to do high resolution shadows off high detail streaming we're flying off center distance all the way down same with shadow distance and then we're going to move on over to just the regular graphic settings again we're not going to mess with resolution just make sure it's on the same size as your monitor now we're going to go through a couple of settings here which really make a difference the first ones that i want to show you which make a huge difference is these ones right here now, I'm not entirely sure why it makes such a difference, but for me, when I first had 5M and I had a lower-end PC, this is what made a big difference to me. I turned population density and population verity all the way down like this. I did it exactly like this. I chucked them all the way down as far as possible, and I saw no difference in graphic settings or graphics looks, but a massive difference in texture loss. Texture loss pretty much no longer existed when I did this. Same with distance scaling. Now, if you put this way too low, like half, it's going to look really bad because it technically changes how the game renders in front of you. So if you make it all the way down, then it's going to render like right in front of you. So you can see everything rendering. I literally just recommend chucking it down ever so slightly like this. You won't really notice it, but it will make a big difference to your performance. What you want to do is make sure that you lower graphic settings here. 
So you have a good amount of video memory left over and you want to lower your settings to get more VRAM available. So what we do is we're going to turn everything here. I usually recommend turning it down to high. High is a sweet spot where it still looks really, really good and you get optimal performance. Now, if you have a lower end PC, maybe chuck it just below high. And then the one important thing to know, if you do have graphics mods on, you need to turn down your post effects, but when you get to high, graphics mods do not work properly. So you need to keep it on at least very high. But what we're going to do is we're going to turn all of these down right here. I'm going to chuck them down to high, exactly like this. Reflection quality, this one, you can need to chuck it all the way down. You hardly notice reflections when you're driving around in game unless there's puddles or reflections on cars. To me, this is something which makes a big difference. You can see when I lowered it, my video memory went right the way down and you don't notice it. Same with this, we're going to lower it down. Lower all of these, water quality, unless you're spending time out in the water, doesn't matter. Same with particle qualities, but all these make a difference. Grass does make a difference. I'd recommend just putting that down to very high if you can, or again, high. But grass does make a difference. But the rest of these that I've just named don't make too much of a difference. So take that as you will, depending on your performance. And now, once we've got the most memory available, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to use this guy right here, the extended texture budget. As long as we've got enough memory, we're going to chuck this up as high as we can. You'll see as we go up, so does our video memory increase. That's our usage. So you want to make sure that you're not in the yellow, but you're as high as you can go before you go into the yellow. This extended texture budget stops texture loss. It gives the game more VRAM to load more textures quicker, therefore stopping texture loss. So this is your key to stop texture loss if this is the thing you're experiencing. So that is what I can recommend doing. Obviously just mess around with the graphics settings to get it to the right point, but use what I've said in this video to understand what bits you can change down and what bits you can't without infecting your graphics too bad. I hope you guys did find this video useful. If you did, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and be sure to check out my website, htnetwork.one, down in the description below. And I'll see all of you guys in the next video. Cheers and goodbye.